Joe, can we get a couple of questions from Mandy's at the end, please? Yeah, that's fine, Tony. Okay, okay who'd like to, if, if you can you put the emoji up if you'd like a question in the live press conference. Who would like to start? Uh, I can't see any. Oh, uh, George Sessions, PA. Thank you. Hi, Patrick. Congratulations on, on the win. Firstly, how important was it to back up that Manchester City result with another good one at home and and how pleased were you that Wilf and Connor have obviously had a lot of talk about this week regarding international careers and things like that, but they, they put it behind them to one side and, and fired you to another win. Yeah, it was um, it was really important to uh, to get the result that we wanted uh, to win the game, especially after the result we had at City. Um, it was a really good team performance against a really difficult team and it was quite hard for us to create chances and um, and I think yeah uh, Wilfried and and Connor goals was uh, was important for us and it was at the uh, at a really important moment of the game and um, I was really pleased with uh, with the performance but overall I believe that the team played quite well Um, Alex, Alex Howe from BBC. Thank you. Hi, Patrick. Um, how pleased you the way the team is seeing out Leeds? No, but we we showed tonight uh, today that we improve as a team, and and this is what we wanted to is you know from the first game that we play against Chelsea it was about how can we improve individually to allow ourselves to be more more a team and to be more solid collectively and you know when you're looking at how the players work every day in training and you know we get awarded uh, with the result but potential and the potential start to be seen but we still need to to keep that work ethic that momentum going and um you know when looking at all the games that we played today i think we we show that um as as a as a maturity of the team, uh, we make one uh, one step forward, and and it's important for us to keep defending well as a team and try to keep the clean sheet, and uh, and obviously yes, creating uh, chances and try to score the goals. But today our performance was um, was excellent against uh, against a really hard teams to play against. Thank you, uh, Zaya Adnan, please. Um, hi, Patrick, and congratulations on the win. Um, can I ask you um, your views on Conor Gallagher? Um, probably he was the best player on the pitch again today. Um, how do you assess his performance, please? Cheers, cheers. His performance has been, uh, yeah, it's been, um, it's been terrific. It's been, uh, been excellent. Uh, just about how. Uh, is closing people down, you know, the, the energy that he's, uh, is giving the team. And when you have a players like that, that start the pressing and everybody behind just following and, and work with him. So um, he's in a really good period. Um, he's scoring goals. He's working well for the team. Um, you know, he win a lot of balls in the midfield. Um, he's playing really well at the moment. Obviously there is a, a lot of confidence in himself to, uh, at the moment, and I think the team as well are doing well for him or to allow him to to express himself. So I'm really pleased with uh, with his performance today. Thank, Thank you. you, Matt Wiseman, the Athletic. Hi, Patrick. Um, you've scored 13 of your 15 goals this season in the second half, um, and again today you sort of really kicked on in, uh, in the second half. Um, how pleased are you with the perseverance of your team? Really pleased. And I think this is as well is about, uh, you know, keeping our organisation because in the first half is always, you know, teams are well organised and make it really difficult. So it will get a time where um, we can't create chances because opposition are, are playing better or we don't move the ball quick enough. But today we... We were better in the second half and that allowed us to, to score those goals. But when we can't score, it's important to keep our shape and our organisation, our discipline. And I think we did it well. Uh, in the second half, uh, 
maybe the opposition were a little bit tired that allowed us to create more chances because they run maybe a lot in the first half. But from the first half to the, to the second half, I think he's just been uh, patient and waiting for the right uh, right time to take our chances. Does it matter to you that you're scoring so many of your goals in the second half? Is it is it something you want to kind of balance out between the halves or, or does it just matter as long as the goals come? I think if we keep uh, winning games by scoring only in the second half, I will I will take that. Uh, but obviously, we want to to improve every part of our game, and it's important for us to to analyze why we don't score enough in the first half and try to to improve that uh, that side of the game. Thank you. Are you from the Voice? Good evening, Patrick. Hi, you good said evening. you said you um. You wanted more goals from Wilfred Zaha. He's starting to deliver. My question for you is, have you set him a personal target this season? No, 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 no. We, we, didn't, uh, we didn't fix a target. Um, I want more goals from him. I want more assists for him because of his ability and how important he is for us. And I know that he's capable of doing it. He's one of the one of our leader on the field, and and I want him to as well. Having this ability come with responsibility, and um, and he can deliver like he did today. Thank you. Okay, that. Can